Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. Uh, Psalm 19 has to be one of my favorite psalms in the Bible. And uh, I just want to say this morning uh, that we want to give God all the glory due His name. Psalm 19 tells us the heavens declare His glory and the firmament showeth forth His handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, night unto night showeth knowledge. And uh, there's several good proofs in this passage that everyone throughout the whole world has a testimony of who God is. And uh, we rejoice in the fact that the governor has lifted uh, the restrictions. We're able to get back to normal church. And uh, uh, we will be practicing some safety uh, things, of course. Uh, but I want to give God the honor and glory as the creator of the world. Uh, for the help that he's been. Uh, I love Psalm 19 because it tells us the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimonies of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. And just goes down through there telling you exactly what the Word of God does uh, for the Christian. And uh, we need to make sure that our lives line up with that. Um, keep back thy servant from presumptuous sin and let them not have dominion over me. And uh, for each and every single one of us, this is a, a good model prayer for in the morning. Uh, before you do your Bible study, sit down, read through Psalm 19, ask God to give you the light, to give you the life, to teach you the law. And uh, as we get those things, doesn't Psalm chapter 1 and verse 2 say, In thy law shall I meditate day and night? And uh, we want to make sure that we are meditating on the Word of God, memorizing the Word of God, sharing the Word of God. Uh, as Christians, Psalm 19 just beautifully tells us uh, that there's no excuse for atheism. Uh, there's no excuse. I hear often from atheists and, and uh, God-haters uh, that, boy, there's just no proof of God. And if you read Psalm 19, there's just proof every day. That's why... Uh, Psalm 14 and Psalm 53 says, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. I find most of the time, if not all of the time, people that are involved uh, with trying to push God out of reality of their life are usually involved in a life of sin and pride. And uh, to admit there's a God is to admit the fact uh, that they're a sinner and people don't want to admit that. And boy, we all need to admit that. And uh, I'm so glad God's in control, and we've been trusting through this uh, virus circumstance, and only three businesses were open in Massachusetts, and church was one of them. I believe it's a direct result of your prayers, a direct result of us claiming Proverbs, where it says the, the, king, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord, he turneth it whithersoever he will. And that certainly is the case in Massachusetts, and we praise God for that. We also uh, want to focus on the Word of God. And why do we need this freedom? We need to get back out there and share the glorious story of the God of creation, how He loved us, sent His Son to die for us. And once we accept Him as our Savior, He empowers us through the Holy Spirit to live a godly uh, uh, life here on this earth, and boy, the Word of God's a big part of that. And so study that. Uh, pray Psalm uh, 19, not as a repetitious prayer, but as a, uh, a God, Holy Spirit of God, Son of God, help me to learn your Word. And uh, boy, when we make that part of our life and we sew that into the fabric of our life, uh, we're going to have a righteous garment. When we don't do that, uh, we're going to have the filthy rags of this world. Christian, I just want to encourage you today is that day that we want to make the Word of God uh, preeminent in our lives. God bless you and have a good day.